What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon and hope you're all having a great start of the week, great Monday. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Ethereum Classic, ETC, the uh, original Ethereum from 2016 before the DAO hack, um, which I tried to cover quite a lot. I know that there's a huge community behind it, but obviously it has been quite trending as well following uh, the merge, but also leading up to the merge. Uh, today though, uh, we had quite a big crash throughout the whole crypto market and that was also felt for ethereum classic it was one of the biggest drops throughout the whole market uh, down by 12.5 percent at least uh, throughout the top 100 tokens i have to say volume has increased too that's completely logical volume increases when people sell obviously too um so yeah we, we had a big drop and and to be honest if you're new to this channel welcome but what i usually do is i talk a little bit about the news um, but also about the price. So first I wanted to talk about what caused this move, right? Because as you can see, Ethereum Classic, if you compare this to June and the beginning of July, we're actually still very bullish. We're still up about 100%. All right, so people that bought in, in June are still very happy at this moment, I think. Um, the thing is though, is, is that I think a lot of this bullish momentum we had for Ethereum Classic um, was a mix of two things and maybe it was all one thing altogether but first of all ethereum was pretty bullish during these days and ethereum compared to for example bitcoin over the last three months is still very bullish um, so so that was the first case and there has always been correlation between ethereum and ethereum classic but apart from that and maybe that's also the, the cause of ethereum being bullish we had the merge all right the merge was bullish for ethereum i think at least but it was also it, it also held some potential for ethereum classic because it created the surplus of miners available for proof of work blockchains what was ethereum classic going to be or what what has it been for for since forever it's a proof of work blockchain and now though the merge has concluded uh, those miners are all at other blockchains i don't think so i mean ob obviously some of them went to ethereum classic um, but I think they were actually pretty evenly spread throughout other blockchains such as Ergo and Ravencoin. And you can see right now that a lot of proof of work blockchains are actually falling. All right. Ethereum Classic is falling because it's, it's one of those proof of work blockchains that was kind of hyped because of the merge. Um, and apart from that, we're also just in a bearish market, right? We had a drop throughout the whole market. So that together, I think, um, allowed this. Uh, allowed this 30 percent drop over the last uh, week. Um, but right now, let's actually cover the short-term price movements, right? What do I expect is going to happen afterwards? Because we hit a pretty uh, substantial support level right now. We hit $28, um, but the, as a matter of fact, the support level runs all the way from $26.2 to $28. Found support at the, the upper bound of it, so we still have all that support under us. Um, what I think is going to happen is I think until Wednesday, so for the next three days, we can we can say, I think we'll be consolidating right here between $30. We might get one spike up to $31, uh, but between uh, $30 and $26 ultimately. And then uh, somewhere on Wednesday or um, after Wednesday, I'll be back with another update because I think we can hold those levels until we get that interest rate uh, decision, which is a huge fundamental event that's going to happen. That's going to make the crypto market move. Um, I think the most likely scenario is, is that Ethereum Classic is going up after that, um, but it's, it's very hard to say at this point of time. So that's why this is a very short term analysis, but I also wanted to share my insights on the uh, reasons behind these moves. Um, so hopefully you found it valuable, but for now I have to leave it at that because it's, it's, I, I cannot accurately predict after the interest rate decision right now. All right. We'll have to see what we get the upcoming days too. So that's my take on Ethereum Classic. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments, but for now I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Take care today and bye.